Happy Thursday and happy birthday to my sister Colleen. Um, you can pray for her today. And we are looking again at Barnabas in Acts chapter 11, verses 25 to 26. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul or Paul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught, and taught a large number of people. So this is what you have to admire about Barnabas. You know, a couple days ago, we talked about how it blew up in his face when he brought Paul into the apostles. But at a certain point in leading the church in Antioch, he realized, I need to teach them that the, that, that this, the followers of Jesus, they really are good people, but they need some teaching. They need some grounding. And he thought, you know who can do that? Paul. And he went and got Paul. He went and found him. And it must have been an interesting conversation. Paul must have been like, hey, you're back. Do you still trust me? And Barnabas is like, hey, Paul, I need you. I need you to come and teach the people of Antioch all the things you know. You're a great teacher. I'm going to use you. God wants to use you. And this changes Paul's life. There is no Paul without Barnabas and his faith in him. There are some people that maybe the world doesn't trust. The world isn't willing to put some faith in. But maybe God is calling you to trust them, to encourage them. And even though maybe you've had some failures before, God's calling you to encourage them. So let's pray to be like Barnabas, to be encouragers of others, especially, and to see the giftedness in others, especially people that the world doesn't recognize. Heavenly Father, thank you for Barnabas. <laughs> thank you for his courage. Thank you for his commitment to go and get Paul to come and teach the church in Antioch and again, set him up into a ministry and life of incredible impact. Help us to be like Paul to go find those people who have talent and ability who maybe others overlook. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear who you're calling us to impact and encourage. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.